primary seven, soon to be our new first years of the Hill Park Secondary. I am Mrs McMaster and I am a Support for Learning worker and I really am just on to welcome you all because I can't wait until August until I see you all. I've maybe seen some of you um, in and about the school when you've been up doing things in all our departments um, and I know it's a big school and I know he's a wee bit worried about coming up but that's what we're there for. I am going to be everywhere. Me and my other colleagues that are in Support for Learning Workers are always about the school. You'll see us everywhere. Um, if we're not in your classes, you'll see us in corridors, um, playground, street area. You'll see us at breaks and at lunch times, and we're always there to lend an ear. Honestly, we are happy to chat. Um, I love to chat. And um, I'm just so looking forward to meeting you all. And I know it's going to be a wee bit different coming back in August, but it's different for us all. And so we're all learning at the same time. And I cannot wait to meet y'all. I hope you have a fantastic summer and looking forward to seeing y'all in August. Bye bye. Hi, Primary Sevens. My name is Mrs. Anderson and I work as a Sport for Learning worker in Elbart Secondary School. Sport for Learning workers might be in some of your classes when you come up in August. We help out where we can. We're also around at morning breaks and lunch times, so if you need some help, you can come and see us, or even if you just want to come and say hello, we're quite a friendly bunch. One of my other duties in Hill Park is that I work in the medical room. If you're heart or injured, or you need someone to speak to, or if you're feeling poorly, you can come to me and I'll do my best to help you. I can also help you with any medical conditions that you have when you come up to Hill Park. School will be a wee bit different in August for everyone, but we will all work together and do our best with the changes. I hope you have a lovely summer and I can't wait to meet you all in August. Take care everyone, stay safe. Bye. Hello Primary Sevens, I'm Mrs Graham and I'm a support for learning work at Elk Park. At the moment I'm sitting in the dining centre. It's just to let you know that I'm really looking forward to seeing you when you come back up here in August. Lots of fun things will be happening and we'll have a lovely time getting to know one another. So, for me, take care, have a great summer, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye. Hey, Primary Sevens, my name is Miss McKayla and I work in Hill Park Secondary as a support for learning worker. I might come into some of your classes or I might just see you in the corridors. Anyway, I'm looking forward to meeting you all in August. Bye. Hi, I'm Mrs Fru. I'm one of the support for learning workers here at Hill Park Secondary. You'll see me in some of your classes where I'll come in to help you with some of your work and you'll see me round the school but you'll especially see me at breaks and lunch times. I'm here to help with any questions you might have, I help with anything else I can or even if you want to stop just for a chat and say hello. I look forward to seeing you in August.
Hi, my name is William Hillhouse and I am a former pupil of Hill Park Secondary School. I know you're probably a wee bit nervous starting S1 given our current situation of quarantine and lockdown, but I assure you Hill Park is working closely with your primary schools to ensure the smoothest transition possible. Now, I have been asked today by Mrs Edgar to make a wee video for you basically explaining different things that happen in Hill Park, <coughs> different rules and to debunk the myths about starting in Hill Park and just basically give you some information so that you're not completely oblivious starting S1. So, hope you enjoy. So, leaving primary and leaving behind all your memories and all your teachers and that's quite a hard thing to do. Like, I should know, I, I kind of struggled with it, like saying goodbye to all my primary teachers and everything. It was a hard thing and I was so nervous about it starting Hill Park, like really, really nervous, even though I'd had amazing transitions and everything, I was so nervous about it. As soon as I stepped through that door, the nerves just went away completely. Like I just, everything that I was worried about just went away and I was just so excited. So I hope you have the exact same experience and I'm sure you will, because the teachers are all there to support you and make sure that your transition is as good as it can possibly be. So I know you're probably missing out on a lot of end of year activities, such as your prom, your end of year trip, and just lots of memories that you'd make at the end of P7, but Hill Park is making sure that you will have the best time when you get to Hill Park and all of that will be made up for. So I know before you came to Hill Park, you probably heard the same rumours that everybody else hears. Rumours, myths, whatever you want to call them. You got your head flushed down the toilet, the teachers are really strict, the homework is really hard, the work is really hard. None of it's true. Yes, the work is more challenging, but that's because you're in high school and you're trying to get more smart and if you do ever struggle with work, you can always go to a teacher. They will support you as much as they can and they will help you. That's what they're there for, they're there to teach you. Um, but the head flushed in the toilet thing, no. Nobody ever does that. Nope, never. The um, thing about the teachers being more strict, some teachers are strict because that's just the way that they like to teach, but they're not overly strict. They're they're humans. You need to remember that. They're normal people. They're, they're not like, you know, different or anything. They're the exact same as you. They have feelings, they have stuff like that. So you need to make sure that you, you respect them and you try to make a positive relationship with them so that you're not just a pupil and a teacher. So. so as soon as you come to Hill Park, you will be assigned a house. So there is six houses. There is Cairngorm, which is my old house, which is the best house. Then you've got Lomond, Merrick, Nevis, Pentland and Jura. Now each of these houses has a head of the house which will be your pastoral care teacher. Now your pastoral care teacher is somebody who is there for you, they will look after you, they'll make sure that you have the best time possible in S1 and all the way through high school and they are there to support you so if you ever need help, if you ever are feeling a bit down you can go to them, you can speak to them and they'll try their best to make sure that they can make you feel better. So. The names of them, for Cairn Gorm, you have Mr. McKend, who is my pastoral care teacher. Then for Lomond, you have Miss Ferguson. For Merrick, you have Miss Russell. For Pentland, you'll have Mr. Wright. For Nevis, you'll have Mr. Dixon. And for Jura, you'll have Miss O'Boyle. And all of these teachers are making sure that you have the best time possible at Hill Park Secondary School. So make sure you go to them, you speak to them, you get to know them personally. So you're not just being distant for them. Make sure you're, you're getting included, like the Hill Park values say. So Hill Park has a thing called the Hill Park Values, which are Aspire, as you may have heard before. Now, Aspire means something, as you probably already know, but you might not know what it stands for. So each letter means something different. So A means achieving, S means supportive, P means positive, I means included, R means respect, and E means equal. So let me run through why all of those are in to help our values. A, achieving, is there so that you can achieve your best and you can always work hard to make sure that you are constantly achieving. S is for supportive because your teachers are always going to be there to support you, you're going to support your friends, you're going to support your family and you need to make sure that you're supporting others as well. P is for positive because you need to always have a positive mental attitude. So instead of saying, I can't, say something like, I can't do that yet. So you say yet, so you can work towards it and you can achieve. So then you've got I, which is included because everybody's included in Hill Park and you need to make sure that you're including yourself so that you're not just like sitting back and doing nothing. R is for, sorry, R is for respect. 
because you need to respect your teachers, you need to respect your friends and you need to have respect for yourself to make sure that you work hard and you're constantly achieving your best. E is for equal because we all want to make sure that we're all equal and nobody thinks that they're better than anybody. Everybody has the same possibilities and same chances in Hill Park so we're all equal. So that is what the Hill Park values aka Aspire means. So I hope this helped and gave you some more information and sort of helped with your nerves. A wee bit made you a wee bit less nervous. If you have any more questions, please make sure to contact Miss Edgar and she can contact me and I will give you whatever information I know. And um, you won't see me when I go back, when we go back to Hill Park. Um, but there are so many other people that are willing to support you and help you. Pupils, teachers, everybody is willing to help you when you go to Hill Park. So I hope you have the best transition ever and I hope you have an amazing time in S1 and good luck. So hi Premier Sound, you've seen a fantastic amount of videos from Hill Park staff, hope that's given you a flavour of what to expect. We're really looking forward to seeing you and I'm particularly looking forward to meeting you on your induction days the first week in August before school goes back. So don't worry, we're going to be there for you and we'll see you very soon. Have a great summer guys, bye.